Good morning, YouTube. This uh, is the second part of my solar power system overview. In this segment, I'll discuss the charge controller and inverter. All the 24 volt panels are wired in parallel and connected to this 40 amp tracer MPPT charge controller. It charges a modest 12 volt battery bank and also powers some DC loads in my house. You might wonder why I have twice as much panel capacity as I need since 40 amps at 12 volts is only 480 watts? That's a good question. I'm pushing this charge controller a bit past its nominal capacity, thus my video on improving its cooling, which you can find at the link here. During the day, I have 10 to 15 amps of DC loads the controller powers in addition to charging the batteries. I work from home and thus use a lot of power during the day. The controller is rated for 20 amps of DC load, and if combined with the charging load, that's about 750 watts. While I still have more panel capacity than needed, I oversize the panels so that on cloudy days, I can still power the DC loads. So far, this has worked out well. I can run the DC lighting loads even on a cloudy day or late afternoons without draining the batteries. For AC power, I have the, this 1000 watt trip light pure sign inverter connected to the battery bank. The inverter serves as backup power for my house, as well as running some AC loads during the day. It has a built-in transfer switch as well as a 40 amp charger, which serves as one level of backup power if there's a stretch of cloudy weather. A 250 farad capacitor which you can see there, was added to help the inverter with its surge capacity for starting loads like my freezer or refrigerator. Since I don't have a huge battery bank, my inverter would struggle to start up the freezer. It now starts up that load with ease, and that should save some wear and tear on the batteries. I'll post a video later with more details on this part of the system. This concludes the second part of the overview. Be sure to stay tuned for the final installment coming shortly.